The following is RealAgriculture.com's coverage of the Advancing Women Conference. Yes, yeah, so uh, we were very happy to be able to announce today that uh, the Canadian Agricultural HR Council is just starting out on a project that is funded by the Status of Women. It's going to be uh, looking at how we can help advance women in leadership positions in the agriculture uh, sector. Um, so we're looking uh, forward to the project that will take place over the next two to three years and um, looking forward to bringing all sorts of different organizations together um, to partner and collaborate um, so that we can move, help move women forward. So why did you guys choose that area of focus? Um, well, I think uh, as we're seeing with this conference, it's uh, a need uh, that's there. I think women have made uh, a lot of progress uh, and advancement within the sector, but there's always room for more. Um, and so we'll be looking at where those barriers, what barriers still exist and how we can help um, develop uh, products and, uh, and tools to help address some of the barriers that are there. So what's the process going to look like for this project? Uh, the process will be, the front end will really be focused on assessing what is out there. We know there's a lot of great activity happening regionally, uh, provincially and uh, a little bit nationally, trying to bring uh, all that information together um, and understanding really um, what the situation is. We'll also be doing some research on um, the number of women on boards, um, the number of women in different programs and that type of thing, looking at what other countries are doing in this area. Um, so really a broad-based uh, look at um, what the situation currently is, where the gaps are. Um, that will take quite a while. Uh, and we will we'll be bringing people together um, to uh, hear from them through different uh, formats um, so that we are getting information right from the uh, grassroots uh, and the people working in the roles, um, not just uh, from research. So what, do you have any expectations for what some of those hindering forces might be? Well, it, you know, I think uh, women in, uh, in leadership roles have um, or, or trying to move into leadership roles have um, constraints and barriers. Sometimes it's a perception um, of their male counterparts, but sometimes it's a, also their own perception of that they don't have time or they feel too guilty or, you know, that they have too many other priorities. Um, so I'm sure that we'll hear that type of thing. Um, but I think it's going to be really focusing on where those opportunities are to help uh, break down the barriers uh, that they do face and whether those are barriers they feel themselves or barriers that actually uh, exist um, in the system, um, we'll try to help identify those and see where we can help. And then once you identify those, what's the next step? So then once we uh, get a good understanding of what's out there and what issues need to be addressed, uh, we'll then move into um, looking at how we can uh, develop a few um, tools and pro um, programs perhaps that may help address that. It may be things like you know, formalizing a national network uh, for professional network for women. Um, it may be a leadership program that's specific to women. Um, it may be uh, as simple as a website that is focused on leadership uh, for women in agriculture that shares information on programs that exist and how they can get involved locally uh, and provincially. So I would say it, it would be things like that that will uh, continue to help continue the conversation, help connect continue to connect to people and, um, and to make sure that there's awareness and opportunities.